So now we're spending the night at Chloe's place, having a sleepover. Alright, here we are. Chloe's awesome bedroom. Where she collects photos of people from magazines. I can't sleep, yet somehow I am sleeping. <laughs> Are they gonna give Max a what did I do last night moment? <laughs> Take selfie. Well, a great way to start my morning. I'll always remember this moment. Photo bomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I do like that lesson, that sometimes an artist does have to get rejected in order to get accepted. That is a pretty good lesson, because sometimes you will fail out there when you are looking for a job and such, but you will eventually succeed as long as you try hard enough. Well, let's get up, enough lounging with Chloe. I know you all don't want to see a lesbian scene, even though Wolf pretty much okay, advertises it. If you want to see a lesbian scene, watch Wolf's. Soccer of fantasy. Yes, we're still going to see Planet of the Apes in a live theater. Kind of odd. But I didn't know theaters play old movies around here still, but okay. Let's see. Yeah, we got half the photos. Now we got the five more left. And here's the journal for you people, if you want to pause and read what Max has been writing. Alright, it's time we get dressed. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. Oh, I kind of thought you were going to get in clothes there. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Aw, oh, that's nice. Chloe kept that. A wallet. Let's mug Chloe. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh, disgusting. She collects condoms and bus tickets that were shredded. Let's check Chloe's laptop. Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. Oh, good, they spot us. Oh, God, she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Oh, 
All right, so Kate's all good, and we were spotted. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Really? She's still keeping the joint? Even though that's exactly what got her in trouble? Chloe, you lovable idiot. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Oh, uh, so darn. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but... If David finds out, shitstorm. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover who I was. Boys are trouble. We certainly are. I'll ask this. So, he never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. You crushed on Rachel. <laughs> Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> Maybe uh, Rachel no, would you are not both smart. Both you are anything but. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer, and she doesn't to be a model. That's not a total bad thing. At least you have my back. But you are not smart. You are way too sassy. And sexy, that's up to your opinion, people. Let's look through Chloe's clothes and try on her outfits. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Kiss Chloe or don't kiss Chloe? I'll do this one because Wolf would kill me if I didn't. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Yeah, this does affect the relationship of Max and Chloe versus Max versus Warren. Trust me, I did romance Warren the first time, and it was pretty anticlimactic. Why, I dare say, a complete letdown. However, Warren is pretty nice, but he doesn't get as much scenes as Chloe and Max do, so I'll go with the mainstream couple, then. So let's get dressed. Also, uh, it's kind of creepy that Chloe wants her to dress in her dead girlfriend's clothes, which she still holds on to. I'm sorry, that is a bit unsettling. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? <laughs> the mosh pit. Do kids really talk like that? I mean, I've been really out of it. As you can tell by my voice, I am super old. But I don't understand. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. There's Chloe. Everybody lies. No exceptions. Well, that's an optimistic thought for the day. So, let's go around Chloe's house. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. <sighs> it's like when we were kids here. Kate texted us.
All right, next photo's in here, people, in Chloe's bathroom. We take another selfie of ourselves in the mirror. How riveting. Okay, I might not know what the selfie crowd is all about, but I have to admit some of these pictures of her taking pictures of herself are pretty lame. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Flash. Serious flashback. Toothbrush? Oh, let's use Chloe's toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Oh. Using Chloe's toothbrush, really? Hair dye. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Dyeing your hair blue? Eh, not that that's a bad thing. I do like blue hair a lot. I just didn't know it was easy to get around at the store. That's Chloe's parents' rooms. Nothing of much importance there. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. But I guess, if you want, we'll explore Chloe's parents' room. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Yes, that thought scares us all. Alright, let's go downstairs. There's Joyce. Not very surprised that Max is in her daughter's room, sleeping together, doing who knows what. Oh, an answering machine. Let's play. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know Officer Corn. That daughter's car was identified. Near the Blackwall campus last night, around the time of the break-in. What? Can you go soon? Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Let's help save Chloe's reputation by covering up her crime. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Alright, this leads to another photo, people. A bird is supposed to fly in through this window. Oh, it already did. Then we gotta scare it out into the backyard where we take a photo of it. It's pretty complex. Bird, but, be gone. just watch Why? what I do. There, we go into the backyard and take a picture of it. Yeah, it's real easy when you see someone actually do it, otherwise describing it might be a bit hard. Then, photo. Shoot the bird. There you go. Oh look, Chloe made a rainbow of her and Rachel in Egypt. Or possibly her and Max. Dead bird. I wonder how these birds died. And I'm pretty sure an animal killed them. Ah, three dead birds. Look, people, a swing. We could sit on and contemplate about life again. Because I know how much you love these scenes. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high.
Well, enough of that. It's time we go eat breakfast. Yeah, I know. First we break into school, now it's followed up by eating breakfast at Chloe's. Super exciting. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. You don't want to be famous for saving a suicidal girl, Max? I'm sorry, that just really weirds me out that a girl doesn't want to be known for saving a suicidal girl. Let's go speak with Joy. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. You fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Hmm, pancakes. I love pancakes more than eggs. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Oh. Eggs and milk? No problem. Okay, people, now we're going to help make breakfast. This the just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Eggs and milk. Now oh. for the mother's milk. Any of you wanted to see beer mixed into pancakes? Well, too bad, because we can't take it. Alright, we got the eggs and the milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's dead. So let's ask if she was mad at Chloe. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? <laughs> no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> you were only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. Go sit at the table. Alright, people, now we gotta go sit down at the table. Wonder why I can't have cereal. Oh, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Alright, let's sit at the table this time. Yeah, you do have to chase the bird out, because once you sit down to eat breakfast, it pretty much keeps you there. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you, glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Good, you can clean. Let's look at our food. Now that's what I call pancakes. Now we get to eat our food. Oh, this game just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? I know, I'm not trying to be too harsh. I do like the game. The story does seem pretty intense, but really they're kind of stretching the gameplay on these mundane activities a bit. Even Telltale doesn't go this far. 
Oh, Max didn't finish her pancakes either. Alright. Yeah, you saw the dead plant, you saw her peanut butter, and we read the newspaper. Ah, Max's face looks so dead and zombified. Seeing you again oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wowzer. I totally remember that day. Wowzer? That's an I'm Inspector glad. Gadget William quote. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, uh, I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. How did she not Jeez, hear I everything Chloe said? I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. <sighs> no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure. Run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Ugh, Chloe. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. This may sound bad, but is it horrible if I say I don't care about Chloe and her problems? No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Yeah, not to be mean, but I'm starting to side with Chloe's parents on her being out of control. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Aw, oh, that's nice. David does love his family. Oh, wait, I didn't look all in the drawer. Sorry, there was some stuff in there still. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. No, that's about it. Sorry. Wasted your time. Alright, we're looking for the hints of the password to his laptop now. Nothing to see here. Because clearly someone who wants to keep their privacy would have hints of their password around their private secured laptop. Well, let's search. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Alright, let's find lots of options. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Yeah, you do have to search a lot. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Oh, there he is. Or a Photoshop version of Call of Duty with David's face pasted on it. Yeah, I'm not buying that photo at all. There he is, looking bored as always on the job. I could try the license number for the password. Yeah, they do give you a lot of options for this, just to fool the players. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? 
that knowing is half the battle. Gee, I know. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Honk just married. Don't you mean honk for being married? Honk just married us. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Ooh, a bag. That's cute. Could be a password here. Yeah, get used to that sound, folks. I still have a few options to look for. Ooh, a knife. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Mm. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. 112708. Hmm. Okay, did we find everything? Old as Moosehead might have a clue. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Oh my gosh, please don't mean this. Uh, the Moosehead has a clue in it too. Ah, uh, did we get enough? Let's just, let's try this. strikes again. Well, how was it? Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. <sighs> but why does David care? Frank, the drug dealer, hooked up with Rachel? Rachel Amber, 18. Oh, okay, so she's legal. It's all cool. This should be an important lesson to don't do drugs, kids. It's not always the drugs that cause Instead the problems. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. It's not this always... Is so wrong. Ooh, he has Max's schedule all over here. What, does he think Max is the one behind student disappearances? Hey. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. So, to save your time, the password is the wedding date for David and Joyce. He kept it He kept it in the visor in his car. That's where the real password is. So, I just saved you a whole lot of time if you're watching this. Well, who am I kidding? Nobody's watching this. I'm just crazy in person on YouTube. Taylor. All right, let's check our photos. Yes, we have three left. We have two people, an ant, and an American flag on a trailer. So chances are we might go back to see Frank or something. Pause if you care to read. All right, let's go tell Chloe about you found out about her step douche. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Thank you, Chloe. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. 
Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh, side with Chloe, of course. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. That's David, sexist. You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Yes, Chloe, please. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I could go back, but I won't. Mostly because Chloe still sticks with you while David keeps siding against you, even if you do stick up for him. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Namaste. You women always stick together. That is totally sexist. Hey, Chloe. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Well, okay. Chloe says let's not rewind, so we'll stick with her decision this time. Let's go. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. The birds. They're Let's acting the up. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. RP is some drug dealer, everyone. Forgets to leave his RV unlocked. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy butt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. All right, everybody, we're gonna what break the hell into is this? a. Ugh, gross. We're gonna break into a drug dealer's RV. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Now this would have been a better follow-up than breaking into the school, but no, we had family drama and making breakfast. Yes, that's what we wanted to see. Nope. 
Our dad sent us a text. Ah, Max's parents are so nice. Their family is well put together. There's our fisherman friend. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Irony. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? Yeah, the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. Stay around, kid. Oh, we could rewind to have a riveting conversation with this fisherman. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. The fish? I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. So all the fish are dying around our oceanside town, people. Looks like the end of the world is coming sooner and sooner. Uh, let's talk to Trucker, who looks strangely like Travis from Silent Hill Origins. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Worst interview. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money with a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse... And a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Believe it or not, this conversation is actually important to getting a photograph. So yes, dealing with this jerk does pay off in him. Actually, how the hell? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those... You know who know what. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Thank you. Alright, we got to take a picture of the truck now. Thank you, Kenny from The Walking Dead. Alright, got the picture. And the answer, no, we still can't leave town right about now. There is another picture, though, around this alley. So ominous. Alright, that's the ninth picture. We have one more, people. Let's talk to the nice homeless lady, who's got Chloe cereal for some reason. Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? If I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I 
I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. That's a bit creepy, but okay. Let's ask about Frank first. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I saw him today, looking more jumpy than usual. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. This action will have consequences because the butterfly's flapping its wings. Get it? Butterfly effect, people. We've altered time. Okay, nothing else back here. So I guess we're going into the diner. Unless the homeless lady has some more advice for us. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. Yeah, I get used to coming back to repeated locations, people. There are some new ones, but other than that, yeah, you will be coming to this place again in the next two episodes. So we gotta get that key from Frank. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Here we go. One photo left, people. We gotta take a picture of two people. It looks like a, a counter. Maybe they might be here, or maybe not. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Oh, so it's an option to talk to the police officer. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Oh, the jukebox. What can we change it to? Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Apparently nothing. Oh, I wanted to play the banjo theme again. You all loved that last episode, didn't you? There's Nathan. I don't care for talking to him right now. The television, which looks disturbingly realistic. Except up close. Dr. Hadora. Hadora was the name of a Godzilla monster that caused pollution. Them first. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. His <laughs> plate or his food here? Alright, let's go talk to the officer. Maybe he has information. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. 
I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Now let's ask about Kate. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Uh, let's ask about the town. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Wow, that the officer just tuned out. What can I do for you, Max? Oh, uh, we need to ask about Nathan. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Irony again. Let's talk to Nathan. This is gonna be pleasant. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you tweet bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal! I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Mm, but, yeah, don't you just love that there's a police officer and he doesn't see the psychopathic kid in the back raging, or the drug dealer minding his own business and living in a terrible RV where he probably produces his drugs. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabbit mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You wouldn't let Chloe stay away, right? Well, let's go to Frank. Or like to call him Discount Daryl Dixon. What the fuck now? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. 
You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Yes, just leave your keys right there. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Yes, assault a girl right in the presence of a police officer. Uh, I hope you still have the keys after this trip. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beets. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beets! <laughs> 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 Just glad to see that. <laughs> Alright, let's try the soda spill on him. Not exciting as when he slipped on the beans. All right, people, let's go and break into his van. Are you kidding me? There's Alyssa. Let's go help her for the third time in a row. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Come on. Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Alright, we did save her this time. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up. But you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Thanks again, Max. Talk to you later. Oh, so Chloe stopped digging through the trash can. There she is. I should have known. The amazing spider, Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set, throw! Get the treat, treat, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now I can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. Yes, don't waste the time. He's busy now, but... He might come back. What, is Chloe gonna lounge around and watch TV while Frank finishes up his meal? Or are we gonna sit in his chair and probably make fun of him? The joy of watering. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. You're right, people. We're gonna look through oh, Frank's RV. Oh, everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. 
Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Yeah, he has a huge shelf in his RV. Yeah. A blowtorch. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Don't just love he has a blowtorch lying here on his bed. Not like that's gonna backfire on you. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? Ooh, Frank's stash. Donald can't take it and use it to repay for Chloe. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Alright, so let's go get the knife. Oh, wait. Photo of him and Rachel. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Alright, we're gonna use the knife to break the vent. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Not sure how a knife would do that so easily. Check this one first. Curses! Nothing here! Alright, let's use the knife on this one. My blade will open any portal. All right, we found it. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. Oh no, Rachel and the dog were having an affair behind Frank's back. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Rachel is with Frank. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. So Rachel was planning to run away with the dog this whole time. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. And she was cheating on Frank with his dog. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Yeah. Rachel was in this RV. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Rachel and Frank were a thing. Also, our knife is still intact. Too bad we couldn't use the blowtorch. We'd love to use that. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Oh, there's Chloe. She's on his laptop. Pretty nice laptop he keeps in this rundown RV. Me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed. You bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Calm down, Chloe. Good luck finding your way back in your RV. Surely them driving away in anger doesn't mean anything to me. 
even though my dog somehow got out of my RV and is barking at them while they escape. Odd that Frank never caught on to anything suspicious Chloe, happening. You can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. Exactly. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It is all your fault. And tell her to grow up. But let's confront her about Rachel and Frank. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you, Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You're still here. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Yeah, well, it is happening. I'm a bit confused. The photo's coming to life. Oh, we're gonna look at the photo and somehow time travel into it. Kind of odd. This power's not thoroughly explained, people, I swear. Alright, we finally did it. Sorry, people. It was easier on the Someday Xbox Dad'll system. Someday Dad will get one of them computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, <laughs> tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... That's Max? I... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the nothing up, like up. Max. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here, here Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that Who's far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crackers. I'm 18 years old and inside my 13 year old self. If you want to be. How? Wait, this is just Please. five years I'm ago and they look the that egg. different. Oh, here's the final photo, people. Mom said it's now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. That's every photo. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Oh, he's just so damn happy and carefree. 
And this is the last time, unless I change it. Uh, she was pretty happy and carefree even after her real father died. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. That's a cool snow dough. Uh, the dough again, people. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wheels. Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. What? Cookies and popcorn. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe mart. She don't what have a any mess we made. I remember those really drawings I did with Chloe. I'm grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Wow, Chloe had a swear jar. You know, if she kept that today, she'd probably be rich. Sorry, trying to rework the camera here. Aha! Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Okay, let's dispose of the keys. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe mart. We're doing this to save William's life, people. For us to feast you are on. ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. I'm this sorry, I can that do. Looks nothing like Call Max. Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. Even her face but it comes is every different. Fifteen design. minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and enjoys and groceries and. Chloe looks and so young and innocent, so I guess I could buy that. You since sold me already. I haven't seen her without I'm blue dyes. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Until we faded away to the fires of hell, I guess. There's William's funeral. We reversed that. Gone back to the future style on us with altered photographs. There's Chloe following into her depression. Nope, oh, she's happy with her father now. There's David remarrying Joyce. Never happened. David's probably bitterly and alone living in his apartment somewhere. There's them fighting. Looks like Chloe ready to knife fight him. Nope, she's happy and has her car with her nightmare face there. Creepy. Yes, see the empty whiteness. Hello, are you even listening, Maxie? All my friends in LA told me that we're getting Max. Every day. Never Maxie. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Oh, well, Victoria's right? friends. Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? So David's the bus driver now. Yes, he found happiness in a way. At least he's not the crazy veteran soldier guy who wanted to go all 1984 on us. 
So we're getting another montage of us riding the bus. Oh, because I so enjoyed that in the last episode. So we got to see if Chloe's life is any better now than it was in the last world. She looked pretty happy. Though, of course, if you can get past the nightmare face. The animals are still acting strange, so I don't think we prevented the end of the world at all. But we'll just have to see. Well, I gotta say, everything's looking fine. We might be coming towards a happy ending. Everything's fine. Max has friends in this world. The Eclipse appears to have disappeared completely. David now has a fulfilling life as a bus driver driving teenagers around Arcadia Bay. What's there I'm looking at? Well, oh, dead whales. No, still happening. Dying animals, we went from dead birds to dead whales right in an instant. That's a horrible sight. Oh, it was poor whales. Did they wash up or did they commit suicide because they weren't fast enough to escape the attending apocalypse? We gotta see Chloe. Is Chloe still with us? Do we still have our partner in crime? Chloe's house looks better, instead her house is blue instead of her hair. Big difference. That was the most quiet knock I've ever heard. I thought last of some quiet That's knock. Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I never did that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Well, that just happened, and that's actually the end of the episode. That's where you want to leave it off. Alright, here's our stats. Pause if you want to read it. So, Max is being taken to a cult, some kind of rave celebrating the end of the world. Well, that looks exciting. So, that was the end of the third episode, people. Third episode, Chaos Theory. Things look like they're going to be different now in this new world that Max has now time-traveled into. I hope you liked this episode, and I hope you'll enjoy us for more Life is Strange episodes. We have two episodes left, people. We're halfway there. This has been Wolf and Friends Gaming. We hope you like, comment, subscribe, and tune in next time for more videos here on our amazing channel, Wolf and Friends Gaming. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.